Hello and good morning. It is early Friday morning, 6.44 a.m. We are on the way to Raleigh, North Carolina, the state capital. Going to head there and do a ham fest tomorrow. Today we are going to set up our junk. That's our stuff in the flea market table at the ham fest. This way we get there early. We get to do a little shopping of the people selling before the rest of the crowd shows up on Saturday. And then early in the morning tomorrow, we go to the ham fest, do our last bit of shopping. Hopefully we can sell some of the junk we brought. And then around noontime or so, we head back to Tryon here in North Carolina. It's just an overnight trip, but it'll work out fine. I've reset the trips here to zero. We're starting with 90%. We have one charge stop along the way. It's about 205 miles. We better load up and get out of here. I think we're ready to go. All our junk's loaded up. And guess who else is here? Oh, <laughs> did I ever leave? No, I don't know. <laughs> it's like a bad penny keeps uh, turning up. It's for sure. Um, <laughs> this year, uh, Greg and I are on a ham fest campaign. Uh, this ham fest in Raleigh is one we've never been to. One thing we learned with ham fests, if you go the day before, you get to hang out with your friends, you do a little extra shopping, which is great. A uh, little spoiler alert. Next week, we're going to yet another ham fest. And this one is in Claremore, Oklahoma. Yeah, we're crazy. It's uh, nearly a thousand miles from here. But you know what? Being retired, we got nothing better to do. So this is our ham fest year. <laughs> so, and uh, I drag Greg along. He has nothing better to do, nope, do you? Nope, nothing better. That's the best part of retirement. You have nothing to do. <laughs> That's it. We're both amateur radio operators, so it uh, works out fine going to these things. Today's itinerary is uh, we are leaving um, Tryon area here. We are heading to uh, Shelby for breakfast at the Pancake House. And then uh, from there, we're heading up to Raleigh. It's a little over 200 miles. One charge stop today. We're at 90%. We better move. <laughs> we are on the road. Yes, we are. It's early. And uh, this trip is going to be something special. Now, I've done trips before in full self-driving in version 11. Version 12 is different, as you might know. Maybe you don't. Check out my videos. It is so human-like, it's unbelievable. Today, we're going to let it drive us all the way to the Ham Fest. That's located over 200 miles away. Of course, I'll be supervising it. So let's start the adventure here. We're going to go first stop here to a place called the Pancake House. It's located in Shelby, North Carolina. So you set up the navigation. It's pretty simple. Press the button right here. Navigate to Pancake House, Shelby, North Carolina. It'll set up our uh, path, and we're all good to go. You double click the stock right here, and now we're on full self driving. So today we are going to be chauffeured all the way to Raleigh, North Carolina. Again, one charge stop. It's located, I think, almost all the way to Greensboro. So let's see how it gets uh, going here. I had to wake it up, so hopefully it'll uh, do well. I'm pretty sure it will. Our first uh, funny stop here. It's uh, a road uh, here that bisects to two other roads. It's early, it's not a lot of traffic, but it has to still figure out what's going on. And it pulls out and it's a screwy road. And we're clear and off we go. The blue flashing is me not holding on to the wheel, allowing it to know that I'm not sleeping in the back seat.
If you would be so kind, go ahead and click the like about now. That allows more people to see my videos. I know it's weird, but that's YouTube for you. YouTube decides through their algorithm, generated by a computer, of course, what videos get seen and what don't. And if people like them early, apparently that makes all the difference in the world. So if you'd be so kind, click the like. And of course, if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and pass my videos on to your unbelieving friends that don't think that Tesla's version 12 autopilot is capable of doing the things it does. Everybody is usually not, you know, accepting of new technologies. Well, just like they move from a flip phone to a smartphone, we've moved from manual drive cars to cars that drive themselves. We're on the uh, two-lane road here and we are headed over to the interstate, or I should say Highway 74 now. It's going to take us down and around. And I'll be back when I find something uh, interesting that the car does that is just will amaze you. Here comes our first turn, big turn. Let's see how it works. And it turns nice and smooth, just like you would. You can see from the map here, we're on uh, two-lane road here in the county, making our way through the back roads here to Highway 74. And there's a lot of turning and twisting here. Coming up to a Z-turn here, we're at Highway 9, it's a uh, highway that runs uh, through the county here, comes a car on the right, a car coming here. it sees it and yeah, hangs out, good. We'll clear we're good now. on the left and we're clear on the right and off to like mad here. <laughs> One thing with the uh, full self driving, it just doesn't dilly dally. When it's clear, it goes just like you. And you see that? We slowed down because of the nasty road condition right there. That was pretty cool because that needs to be done. This is Highway 74. We're getting up on the highway here. We're almost at highway speed on the on ramp. Blinker on, and we merge over, so we're good. All right, it's set for 74, uh, which is four over the posted speed, but in reality, if you look at the GPS, we're doing it about 72 due to the wheel configuration here. All right, eastbound on Highway 74. It looks like 26 miles to 33 total to uh, breakfast. Nice morning. We have a look here. It's a pretty nice day. Unfortunately, today we're going to have the sun right in our face. This is our normal stop here for Scottish breakfast here in Forest City. But no Scottish breakfast today. Yeah. Look at the sun. We're on full self driving still. And it doesn't seem to have any issues driving in the sun, so that's cool. 12 miles from Shelby. Sun is coming up. Yes, we are going right into the sun, and yes I am. <laughs> wow. Autopilot's handling it just fine. We're just getting off uh, the highway here into uh, more surface streets. It's still uh, Highway 74, but they break it off from uh, the, what is it, Highway 226 North. So I think we're still technically on uh, highway, but it may 
think that it's on surface streets now. I don't know. We're going to find out. Doesn't matter. We're still on FSD. Now we have stop signs or stop lights up ahead, so we're going to do our thing. About five miles from breakfast. Everybody's going to work this morning. That's a good thing. When you're retired, you want everybody to be working so they can buy your Social Security. That's a good thing. Wee, that sun is bright. And yes, still on FSD. We're just in the outskirts of Shelby now. Just coming into the city here. to get over within a half a mile so yeah we'll see we'll probably get back over yeah Cake House, quarter mile. See how it does this. Should turn into the parking lot here. And from looking at the nav, it looks like it's going to go in and around. So we'll see. All right, Pancake House coming up. All right. Won't be this one, but it'll be this one right here. See how it's going to do. I'm going to take it. All right, here we go. All right, we got a big old truck. We shouldn't have time for breakfast. <laughs> All right, here we are. I got my wallet. I've got my phone. All right, let's go eat. <laughs> Yeah, there's uh, not as many people as the other day. You remember that? Yeah. <laughs> that was a week. When was that weekend, wasn't it? That was a no, weekend. I think it was. No, it wasn't either. It was Friday. It was Friday. Yeah, yeah, it was. I don't know where all those people came. Yeah, I don't know either. So here's the Pancake House menu. It's pretty good. Lots of stuff. And if you're hungry, you uh, want to come here because... There's just miles and miles of stuff. So there you go. Look, you even got a garage here. You need to work on your ice car. Yes, we had a great breakfast here at the Pancake House. Let's set up our next destination. Navigate to the Jim Graham North Carolina Fairgrounds, Raleigh. Not Jim Graham. There it is. <laughs> I think that's the one. Yeah. All right, so this is it here. It's in Raleigh. Looks like we have uh, one stop here. Looks like Thomasville. And uh, not bad. It looks like we arrived with 20%. That's perfect, 108 miles. All right. Let's back out of the parking lot here, or out of the spot, I should say. And uh, we'll set up full self-driving to take us all the way to Raleigh today. Continuing our trip. <laughs> yep. Alright, let's see how she goes. Mm 
there's a big old pothole. Looks like it's wanting to miss it. Let's see how she does here. Got traffic coming. No, we can't go yet. All right, now we can go. There we go. Perfect. Off like a shot. Off like a shot. You can pull it down though if yeah. you need it. I'm above it. So. Oh yeah. Well, I'll do that. Which at least gets it. Yeah, when you're short in the chair, the sun gets you. It's just uh, down here. So we're just making our way through Shelby here, and uh, we're behind the. Uh, the uh, Ford uh, Stinky here. Oh, what, there it goes. what a lot of these people don't realize is the HEPA filter in the car. We don't smell any of that. And I don't know if it's on purpose or just a dumb person that not have his vehicle set up right. At fuel at almost four bucks a gallon, you sure would think these guys would uh, want their vehicle more efficient. I don't know what the deal is. Anyway, we're heading that way. We've got 10 miles to get on Interstate 85. We're four miles from Interstate 85 now. Just tooling down Highway 74. 20% on arrival at the uh, Thomasville Supercharger. We're getting close here now, one mile to get on 85. Let's see how it handles it here. Get the camera out of the sun, but I think we're okay. Usually it waits till about a half a mile here before it, it does this. Tents, all right. It's kind of an interesting, it's an off-ramp, on-ramp here. Now we need to get in the right. Yep. lane here and go around and then we'll get on 85 here Like that, we're on Interstate 85. Lots of Teslas. Here's a real nice Model X. Yeah, how about that? Got a wave. No, she wasn't paying attention. Probably on autopilot. We're now preconditioning for our charge stop here in 87 miles. Rival at 21%. We're just heading north out of Charlotte now. Looks like uh, 65 miles to the supercharger, arriving with 23%. Still on autopilot. Navigating all the traffic here. One of the things that's very cool, if you're driving along and somebody comes up behind you, it just moves over. Here's an update. Just tooling northbound of Charlotte now, and we've got a Model X or a Model Y here in front of us, and uh, freeway's just all moving along here. Looks like 44 miles to the supercharger, 23% on arrival. It's a nice day. Yes, I know. See, it busted me because I didn't look out the front window. That's part of the safety system here in the Model Y and in all Teslas. Let's have an update. Looks like 31 miles, 27 minutes, and arrival at 23%. Still running FSD. Nice day. 
no clouds in the sky, and it's a whopping 51 today. We're getting there now, 11 miles to the supercharger here. Kind of nice north of Charlotte. It's out in the country. We're 1.5 miles from getting off the highway. FSD is uh, attempting to go around these truck and two cars uh, to get off the highway. what to do. It's going to get behind the trailer here or it's going to try to get in front of the trailer and shoot the gap. Now half mile. Looks like we can make it safely in front of the trailer if it uh, puts pedal to the metal here. Now three tenths of a mile. Yeah, I know. And I'm taking over because it made a bad decision there. It was going to cut over, and uh, this is where we're going. So that sucked. Okay, we're going back into FSD. Let's see if it gets us to the supercharger. Yeah, it didn't have enough visibility. It should have got over back when we talked about it. So that was kind of a fail. Waiting for the traffic to clear. We're in one of the suburbs north of Charlotte here. Okay, truck, you got a greenie. Here we go. We gotta get in the left lane. Come on. Are you gonna get in the left lane? Oh, it's waiting to go past this intersection. All right, now you can get over. Uh, yes? No? Yes? Okay. All right, let's see if it turns into the parking lot here. I can see the superchargers right there. If it's smart, uh, it'll make this turn. Let's see how this goes. Okay, you guys got to move up for me to get into the thing. Come on. Are we going here? Yep. yep. Nope. Yep. Okay, right. good. Now... Let's see if it knows where the superchargers are. It's to the left. Don't run me into the curb. Yep, that's it. See that Tesla over there? That's where you want to be. All right, it doesn't know. Brand new Tesla in the pull-in spot. The guy needs to be educated. Okay, we're here. It's stopped. I'm taking over. Yeah, one day it'll just figure out where to go. I get an auto parked in here if I wanted, but it's okay. All right, we're here. Let's have a look. We arrived at 22%. I think that was close to the estimate. Uh, our destination uh, it says uh, who knows what. Let's plug it in and uh, see how it goes. We're here at Sheets. Sheets, a uh, gas station and uh, Tesla supercharger location here in Thomasville. It's a uh, version three. It's located uh, right next to the sheets. They have uh, food that they make for you on the spot. It's pretty nice, actually. Uh, of course, there's a drive through as well. I am just back in the car. Look at the message. Yes, we have enough to go to our trip. Now, it's cool because we have 12% on arrival here, right? And uh, we're still charging at 128 kW, which is fine, 45%. And you can get in the vehicle and drive, and you'll arrive at your destination with 13%. Problem is, 
We have a few plans to mess around today. We're going to uh, go to the ham fest. We're going to unload all of our gear that we're going to sell. We're going to mess around, meet our friends, go get something to eat, and then probably grab a charge and then go to the hotel. So I'm going to charge more than it says so that I have some reserve energy. I'm going to say okay, and we'll just charge here for a little while. And uh, we'll probably go to say 70 or 80 percent, and that'll hold us over all afternoon. We're just about ready to get to 80 percent. We're going to charge to 80. That gives us uh, 47 percent on arrival, according to this. Yep, we're now at 80. We'll go ahead and unplug. Uh, that'll last us uh, all this evening and part of tomorrow, and maybe we'll just get a charge on the way back. We'll see how it goes. Let's unplug. We are good to go. Oh, where does it want us to go? No. <laughs> oh, no. Good. Come on. Now, yeah. I don't need to go around the block to go to the right. So we're just going to go to the right. Yeah. And then uh, we'll start it. I don't know why Google does that sometimes. Pretty strange. The there we go. Now we be good. We're on autopilot. Running FSD version 3.3, 2.24.3.3, or I should say version 12, I think it's 2024.3.3. That guy laying around there. Good <laughs> work. What he's the, the boss. Oh, he must be. He's the, the heck? He's, he's the boss. Getting up to highway speed, getting on 85 north. Once we get on the highway, we'll uh, switch uh, speed from auto, I think. Let's see what it does. No, I think it's going to stay on auto. That's fine. 70 here. We're going to go, uh, I have no control over it because we're still in auto. So once it determines that it doesn't want to be in auto anymore, then we'll be able to do it. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. Instead of showing an interstate of blue, it's showing green as uh, 85 north. Well, technically, it's uh, um, interstate. And it still thinks as we're on the, the back roads here or something. I don't know. I'm going to change lanes. And uh, maybe it'll snap it out of its condition here or something. I don't know. There we go. Now it's happy. And off we go. We're coming up to a interstate switch here. We've got 73 and 85 and 29 and all kinds of stuff switching here. Let's see how we deal with that here. So it wants us in the right lane or a right lane. Let's see what's it doing. There we go. Okay, I guess we gotta get our fanny over here because we need to get on interstate 40, I think sure where it's taking us. I'm assuming it's taking us to the correct place. Alright. Yeah, we're on the right road. We're going to Greensboro. The other one was doing 85. So let's just assume we're going to the right way. <laughs> Because uh, FSD's taking us there. Which is just fine. If it's the right way, we're good. It looks that way. It's taking us up through Greensboro, so. We're meeting up with the interstate here. Big old trucks. Everything here. state are we on now? 
down 40 east. So we're in Interstate 40 now, okay. which is the right one. And then 85 up here weighs a number of miles. We'll head to the north to uh, the northeast. And we'll head down to the southeast on 40 to Raleigh. to go. Interstate 40. Looks like 37 miles to the next big turn. We're getting close to a transition here in 1.6 miles. We've moved over into the number two lane here. If this person doesn't sideswipe me, we'll be in good shape. And then uh, looks like in 1.2 miles we get off at exit 163. Which is interesting. Let's see what's taking us. Oh yeah, 40 south. Looks like it's going on 40 south here. Let's see how many exit lanes there are. It's like two, so we're in good position here. It's managing the shift here, so that works out. And it wants to get in the right, but we don't have to get in the actual right lane. It's just signaling that. Uh, we're going to uh, be getting to the right here. There we are. There we go. Now nah, we're good. Didn't want to miss it that time. our destination from the convention center to Harbor Freight and pick up a couple moving blankets. One of the things I forgot. So this is the closest one. It's several miles from where we're ultimately going, but that's our new destination. And we're here on Interstate 40, working our way through traffic. Just getting off the highway here. Looks like it's just off, almost off the off-ramp where we're ultimately going. traffic and uh, away we go. Come on, you can do it. I'm not touching it. Figure it out. Come on, let's go. Here we go. I helped it. But we had to get all the way over in the left lane. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Don't want to run over the pedestrians or run into the traffic here. Wow, it is some kind of busy here. Yeah. All right, here we go. We're going to shoot the gap. There we go. All so, right, well, it's taken us here. We're at Harbor Freight. I have no idea where it is. It must be, be straight down the end. Yeah, right it's probably us. down the end. Let's see what it does with this speed bump here just for fun. Slow enough. Okay, where are you going? Yeah, don't run over the curb go. Another speed bump. And Harbor Freight's down here. Hey, Model Y, what are you doing in my way? <laughs> All right, it's pulling over by the curb. How about that? Here we go. Oop. All right, here we go. I'm disengaging. We'll go find a place to park since we're here. Good work. That's an oldie. All right, here we are. 
We're going to run in and grab some moving blankets. Quick stop at Harbor Freight. Got us two moving blankets. We're going to need it to cover our stuff in the flea market. We are good to go. 3.3 miles, 10 minutes. Uh, let's hit it. We've now uh, made our turn out of the parking lot. It was quite complex. <laughs> There's several ways to get there. This is a uh, direct road. It's uh, just the back road here. So we'll just take this. Crazy Fire Grill. Hmm. There's a lot of eating places here, which yeah. is pretty cool. And uh, if we look at it on the nav here, it's just a direct shot. Works out pretty well. And a roundabout. Yeah, I'm paying attention. Are you paying attention? Yeah. Hmm. Apparently it's paying attention yeah. just fine. Looks like we've got a few more of these here. Take a wider view. Another, uh, it's actually a very large uh, roundabout, but they all work the same. There we go. Easy, Parnelli. <laughs> so we got a little jigging and jagging up here. two left-hand turn lanes. All right, and off we go. And a right lane, right turn. I'm guessing right turn signal means you can't turn right unless it's uh, green. Yes? No? It doesn't say no right. No, I think I think we're okay. I think you're okay. It's a strange sign. Yeah. City signs are odd. It may mean you get a right turn signal, but it yeah. doesn't say you can't. Then we make a left here. Mix up of roads. <laughs> yeah, it's old. And we merge up here with this road, and that's uh, up on the left where we're going. So we need to be in the left of the lane. No, we don't need to make a left here. So this is the correct lane. Because we gotta go up probably okay, quarter a mile, further. half mile it says. Wow, welcome to downtown Raleigh, mm -hmm. North Carolina. And all the traffic. This uh, Coliseum looking place is ultimately where we're going. A little further according to this. Yep. Yeah, it looks like uh, we're over here. Yeah. Up oh, Rare Fest. Oh, that's where we're going there. And uh, I don't know if we can get in over here. I've got control of the car because it can't read uh, signs there. Wants us to go here, but I think it's closed. Yes, no, maybe so, no. 
Yep, it's closed. Real flippy Yui here. And uh, we'll go back where we came. Alright, up straight ahead it says. According to this, it's right here. This right. one's cool. Yeah, here's the input. Here's the um, we show them our tickets and we'll be inside and I'll be back. I am in the indoor flea market here in Raleigh. I could say over there's the commercial side over on the far side there. This is all the used gear. I would say this is probably three quarters of the size of the Huntsville Indoor Fest. This is pretty nice, actually. You drive your vehicle in, dump off your stuff, and uh, you're good to go. We are good. Holy mackerel. Did we buy crap or not? What, did you, you sold some crap, right? Or yeah. did you buy something? No. You didn't buy anything, you <laughs> cheapskate? I, I made five dollars. Golly, five bucks. Oh, that's right. I owe you five bucks because no. I spent your five yeah, bucks. Which probably went to Dave so he could buy Oh, more man. Junk. I'll tell you what. <laughs> if you want to go to a ham fest, you got to get here early. We found all kinds of little useless things. So anyway, uh, we're off to dinner. We're heading to Olive Garden for the evening here, and then uh, we'll head over to the hotel afterwards. And uh, there you go. It's 3.13 p.m. on Friday. Our goal is to uh, head to dinner early, beat the Friday uh, dinner rush, maybe, and then uh, do our thing here. So, get cars coming. He's turning. And we're going. All right, so let's go. Here we go. All right, so now she's coming. Yeah, now we got to make a left here. No, up there. No, there. Wait a minute, come on, really? No, it's a, did we stay on this road here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I hope it knows where we're going, eh? Well, Shut that off, make it easier here. Oh, it's one of these temporary lights here. And uh, to the left, yep, that's where we'll be going. You know, after dinner, we need to go find a supercharger, yeah, probably, yeah. and put a little juice in. Well, well we can do that. Either that, or we can just, uh, don't worry about it, and in the morning on the way home, we'll just get some juice. Well, we got plenty of time. We can go after yeah. dinner and poke around see what we can find. Yeah. It's got to be one fairly close. Oh, yeah, they're all over. Cars are coming here. Yeah, we're good now. If you go, go on. No, nope, here comes a car. No, nope, he's turning. All right, here we go. No, nope, here comes another car. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Okay, here we go. And we're off like a dirty shirt. Now we got to get in the left lane. Yeah. It's working its way over to the left lane, which is right here. Now it's double lefty. That's good. All right, here we go. Left lane, okay, and then uh, we stay on this road. Yeah, so we're going for a ways. Yep. Sure glad it knows where it's going. <laughs> I'd be lost, I think. I know. To... You know, this goes along with other North Carolina stuff. Nothing's straight. <laughs> Even the roads here in uh, Raleigh are all uh, curved. Yeah. So. I'm sure they've got through. some straight ones, but they're certainly not here. Not here. Okay, where are we going? 
Oh, yeah, right there. Yeah, see, it's smart. Sorry, that was my fault. That was my fault. It knew what it was doing. Ignore. <laughs> you got to tell the AI what's going on here. It knew what was going on. Shoot, I didn't know where I'm going. Yeah, it didn't know, and it needed to get over. It got over. Got over. Dang, good. You never quite know. Sometimes it takes you a minute or two to process what it takes. I know. And we're so quick to say it does something wrong, yeah. but when you go back and look at it, you find out there was somebody going to jump in the road or something. What do we got here? Uh, a couple people... Uh, Doing something on the side of the road. Okay, so now we got a funky coming up here. See that? Yeah. It's a whoopie do. It's got to get on Highway 40. It looks like. Yeah. Must be for a few place. miles. Yeah. yeah. All right. Looks like um, the second light. light. We have to, can't get here. No, is it this one? Yes. Or is it? Do well, we go think, straight? And, well, oh yeah, it is certainly my fault. Oh yeah, yeah it did. Hair. Hold on. It chose poorly. It wanted to get in the first left lane, and uh, that's not where we wanted it. Or yeah, it is. Oh, it sure is. Dang it! See, it knows more than I know. My fault. My fault. That's our problem. We oh, it just rerouted us here. That's fine. We'll just follow it. Yeah, yeah, we're all right. It wanted to want us to put us on the interstate, and it knew where it was going. So it was my bad. I did it. I took it out. It knew where it was going. So sorry. It recovered. And it recovered. Google's fast about rerouting, so it rerouted us here. It's actually uh, that way. It's probably a yeah. Better it's probably better than going down the interstate and around interstate. and all that hoo ha. Thank you in your favor. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Hey, after this ham fest, I'm going to need a bank error no, in my geez, favor. I tell you. <laughs> Keep the economy. Careful there! Don't hit the embankment there, yeah. little red car. You'll spray debris on oh, my car. Yeah, well. That would suck. <laughs> yeah, it handles all this Raleigh traffic okay. I know it's not major traffic, but you know what? With all the screwy construction and all that stuff around here, this isn't so bad. Alright, we're going to turn here. It looks like uh, at the light. Yep. Smooth turn. How come it doesn't talk to you? What do you mean it doesn't talk to me? Huh? What's it going to talk to me and tell me? Turn, turn well, right. see, now it even put me in the left lane because you know why? Yeah, because you're going left. We got to make a left. But how come she did not talk to you and say? She doesn't need left. to talk to me. She's driving. Oh, and I'm trying. <laughs> if you're driving, you talk to me. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Guys, pass the line, but no problem. We got it made. Good reason why she's not talking. Nope. Easy now. Watch where you're walking. Looking at your phone. Get run over. <laughs> but officer, I didn't see that guy. No, you were looking at your phone. Yeah, that's it. It's okay. We got you on video, lady. No problem. Okay, so we need to get in the left lane here, but not here. Left here. Ah, uh, see, it's so smart. This is a left turn lane, double lefty here. And we need to go past it, like it's showing here. Yeah. Dang, I like this thing. This is nice. Well, it's a lot easier than picking your way through. Oh, yeah. Especially if you were telling me which way to turn. <laughs> Holy Mac, we'd never get there. <laughs> Probably not. Yeah, don't ever go anywhere with Greg. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to make a lefty here. It's got to get over yeah, in the left. And it has to get in the left here. Oh, it won't. Okay, so it blew its turn. But we're going to see if we can uh, recover somehow here. Alright, so let's uh, try this again. We're back in auto. 
pilot here. Let's see if we can get it this time. Yeah, there was a little, uh, that's right across the street, but it came up in a big time hurry. We needed to be over in the left lane. So that's okay. It was an honest mistake. It's really crowded here. So yeah, it gets to it pretty okay, smart. Here we go. Now, where are you going, truck? Looks like she's got it. Yeah, it's got it now. Easy. And then we have to turn right again in the parking lot. And we did. Olive Garden's right over there. And it's turning right here in the front. All right, well, we're here. Yeah, we had a really great lunch here at Olive Garden. Or a dinner, I should say. Now we're heading over to the hotel. Which way is it pointing? No, it's left, I think. I don't know. We're gonna get out on the road here and try to figure out what's going I'm on. Okay, my way. Okay. See so which way does it want us to go now? It wants us to go to the right, the back way. Golly. Oh yeah, okay, there we go. We're gonna have to Take the freeway. Look at this thing. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that looks like something, doesn't it? Oh, my. <laughs> wow. Who thought that up? I don't know, but full self-driving is going to drive it. <laughs> I'm tired of this stupid traffic and these dumb roads here already. Wow. Yeah, you're going around a little bit. Well, we get Tour D Highway. <laughs> See how this works. <laughs> Look at the traffic here, guys. Yeah. Look at this. Golly. It's just uh, nonstop. And it is just 4.30 on well, Friday. It's Friday. So we'll get to the hotel hopefully before uh, 5. And uh, I think there's uh, some charging there. So if that's the case, then uh, we can plug in, get a little juice. If not, uh, we'll don't worry about it. We will uh, get in the morning when we leave uh, the convention and charge on the way home somewhere. There's plenty of charging everywhere. And away we go. Welcome to Welcome the to highway. The oh, nice. Yeah, well. Now, how come the nav doesn't show that as being stopped? Well, that's a good question. Great. I have this showing stopped, but, yeah, I, but how come it's not showing stop here? Know. Come on, Google. What the heck? I think we need to get our fanny over to the left. That's all right. Let's just see what happens here. FSD needs to be able to deal with it, so I can deal with it. Oh, well, now it wants to get over to the left. Now it doesn't. This is this a only lane. So. Yeah, we're in a double tourney here, so. If I do this, the guy can pull in behind me here, and uh, he can, he wants to get in the right lane, you can get in the right lane, buddy. There you go. What exit do we need? It doesn't say exit one north. Feet one north. But this is 1A and 1B. Which one's north? Oh, over it's there. East. Gotcha. We do need to get out of here. North, yeah. Yeah, so we'll do that here. All right, here we go. Okay. A little manual intervention there. It uh, probably would have dealt with it, but it didn't do a very good job. Here we go again. We're back in FSD. And we should be getting off here. 
is where we need to go. Construction. Do this little whoopy do thing here. here well, how about that there's waffle house. see i've uh, given up trying to outthink <laughs> you can't it outthink it no it may take you wrong it figures it out by yeah, itself yeah hey waffle house waffle house yeah and look what's ahead of us looks like our hotel all right i'm gonna dump us out well, let's see oh no is this it. even our hotel i'm not sure no this is the best western so we're going through and then we're going the to parking the parking lot here. Gotta go over there, don't we? Uh, that's what it says. We're going to the uh, that one, the Fairfield. Fairfield Inn and yeah, Suites. That's yeah, that's one. that one. Yep. So, let's all right, see. anybody coming to the right? No. Okay. Let's see if we can find let's the see. connector here somewhere before we decide. To park. Now, you really want to park your car there with a ladder sticking <laughs> out 20 yeah. feet? Really? <laughs> Look at all these guys that are looking at him. What are you doing? I don't know what he's what doing. He's doing. back up. Uh, he's he's gonna gonna go ahead. All right. Well, we're here. Yeah. Let's uh, check in. And uh, I think they may have a wall connector here. Well, that's we'll see. I said you want to go? I suppose we can ask. Yeah, of course. All right. I'm going to pull up here and we'll check in. All right. Not bad. Thank you. 